What's up, everybody? How's it going? Oh, there's a massive hair on the lens. Do you see it? Give it a little blue. Got it. It was perfectly delicate. We have not vlogged in, in at least a week. <laughs> it's been at least a week since the last time we vlogged. You think so? I think. Nah, yeah. <laughs> but since the last time we vlogged, we were A, posting vlogs on a different channel. That's true. But that happens all the time with us, so that's really not news. Yeah. B, we have moved to Utah. And C, we are pregnant. Stop. Wait, hold on. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm not pregnant. Are you pregnant, Taylor? No, she got spayed. Look she at all the little it. babies she carries around all the time, though. She does have a baby. Dally's, this is a pig. Dally's very favorite toys that she has are the tiniest of toys, and then she carries them around so gently, it's cute. But we've been saying for quite a while that we, we should vlog. vlog. <laughs> we haven't shot a single video since we moved in. So much has happened that now we're gonna have to recap as in just telling stories. Right. Because we were too lazy to pick up the camera. I was too lazy. Look, and I've had zero excuse because I have been filming projects. Like, I've had the camera in my hand so much over these last month or two yeah. that, yeah, I have no excuse. But this, this is what is going down. I need to go to the gym right now because I have a meeting in an hour that I'm probably going to have to cut my gym time short for. So I was trying to rush out the door, but here's the thing about Utah, at least right now. It snows so much. <laughs> and I keep saying like, we should record just when it snowed so we can show people the trenches of snow in front of our house. Yep. And then by the time I'm like, oh yeah, I really should do that, it's melted, yeah. right? But we just had the biggest snowfall yet, which is incredible because we're in one, April. Well, also in each one, they keep saying, this is going to be the biggest storm this year. And then there's always but one bigger. Then there's another one that's yes. like, oh no, it, it can get worse. <laughs> so anyways, you know what we just said, to heck with it. I'm gonna put off my gym time and we're just gonna shoot a little clip and we're going to re, uh, re remind ourselves what it's like to actually be YouTubers because we're not very good at it. No. So, <laughs> let's check out the outside, you guys. It's just, it's been nonsense. Look at this, look at these trenches of snow. <laughs> it really is ridiculous. Tally, come here, come here. Give us some size comparison, girlfriend. Thank you, that's perfect actually, just like that. So anyways, lots of snow. Yes. Lots and lots of snow. It does but, stop. And this snow started the day after we arrived in Utah. That's true. And <laughs> it was we have kind of a good thing stories. and kind of a bad thing because yeah, we have all sorts the house was leaking. Hold yes. on. Brand new house. Yeah, so the house, the snow was a good thing and it was a bad thing um, because our house was leaking and if it hadn't been snowing, we wouldn't have known that it was leaking and so it kind of worked out. Anyways, that's a whole process. We've got stories for days so on stories. the house stuff that's gone on that we will share and we're going to do a house tour. Maybe not all in this video. I don't know what's going to be in this video. But what I do know is I need to get the heck out of here. And you're also probably wondering, what, Sarah, why are you home right now? Guys, I'm jobless. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working That's from home because I have a very flexible job now. And since the weather... Hey, the trash people are here! Yeah! Hey! The trash buildup over there. I wish we could have taken a... Break. I could run right now. I don't think you'll make it. No, I don't think so uh, either. All right, yeah. wrap it up. So I, I need work, to go. I Sarah's got a pretty dope job. She works at a really trendy hipster office too. That she loves. Right? Hey, they feed me, so yeah, I Yeah, they do. I actually... It actually is a really cool office yeah. space. But, uh, okay, I'm gonna go. And we'll pick this up later. Let's try not to forget. Yes. To pick this up later. Because if we don't vlog for another week, I'm just deleting. We're gonna just have to start over. <laughs> just gonna Wait for the next it. snowstorm. <laughs> Which is probably next year at this point. So, I I except that's that what we keep nice. thinking, and then it keeps snowing like it's next April. Day. I know it's crazy. Anyways, catch you guys in a little bit. Come on, Dad. 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 Come on, Dad.
What's up, everybody? It's been a year <laughs> since the last time we recorded. And, and obviously. So much has changed. We have settled in to Utah. Yup, we're still here. We didn't leave. We have a new puppy. Her name we is We did Alhara. not replace Tally. Tally's right here. She's just too afraid to come to Tally the Tally is too big to put on the table. Also, she refuses to come back here. This is Anya. We actually brought her home two days ago from Kansas City. Missouri. It was a long way to go get a puppy. Yes. But we just wanted to, we'll do more videos with her shortly, but wanted to show you guys that. Listen. <laughs> um, we don't even know where to begin. We were, I wanted to make this like more of a nice, like produced video, like bring out the lights and do it during the daytime. But listen, at some point we just had to pull the trigger and just say, we're just gonna film it. So we don't even have mics out, no. no lights. We're just gonna roll and talk a little bit about 2023, the year that was, and the year that we did zero vlogging, <laughs> even though it would have been the, a really good year to vlog. So much happened, but, but it was just a lot. It was too much, like, <clears throat> to also do that with everything. It was a very long year. Yeah. It was a good it year. It was a good year. Um, just a lot happened. And I think we needed a break, yeah. just from YouTube in general, um, to try to determine what we wanted to do, what we were gonna do, and how YouTube was gonna fit into our lives, if at all, going forward. Yeah. Um, one thing, for example, we thought we were gonna do the gaming channel again, and we, tried that. we filmed a whole series um, and never posted it because. We, we really thought hard about it after shooting that series and thought, you know what, um, I, don't, I don't think we can slash want to do that kind of content anymore. Yeah. Just but it was fun. We had fun making it. It was just a we, lot. Yeah, we always do. Just, you guys uh, will never see Mario Wonder. I don't know. Maybe I'll put that out just as a final hurrah. Or maybe you will. I, I take it back. Never mind. But anyways. I'll talk more about like the future of Flipsetter Entertainment and Set. Mary Gamers in a different video. This video is going to be the first on the Connell, the Connells, the Connell fam. The first one? I don't remember. Yeah, because we posted here a lot and then we moved on. <laughs> but now we're back. We have a whole list of things we want to go over with you guys. Okay, so we tried to go through the other day, month by month, um, trying to think of the major things that kind of happened in 2023. I know, I'm like having... I, what, is, what is she? Hold on, I, hold on, hold on! I just need to see if she's eating something she's not supposed to put. There she is, she's wandered back in the okay. view. We can see her, never mind. Okay, we're here. I should have grabbed one of her little chew bones that she likes to chew on. It's okay, it's she's gonna poop. We'll clean it up. Um, Jacob's trying to get her to poop several times already, so... We've been outside Not somewhere. in the pantry, Okay, please. and that's the one place I don't want you to poop. <laughs> Poop anywhere else but the pantry. <laughs> okay, listen. Um, Welcome to our life now. Again. Do you remember when we first got Tally and we were trying to record Ark and she just would pee every time? <laughs> every time we sat down to record. It was impossible for months. It was so funny though. Um, <laughs> Anyways, have I mentioned we're tired? Yes, we're also But this very is tired. important to us. Yes. We many times last year we were like, we really want to vlog, we just couldn't get in the right headspace. So we're hoping this kind of kickstarts us again. Yeah. Um, and we've got a new channel and okay, listen, listen. January. Last year. Do you want to talk a little bit about how happened in January? Sure. Well, we moved to Utah, which was really exciting. Yep. And it was really snowy when we moved here. <laughs> we literally moved in, and the next day, it started snowing and it never stopped. I, I bet you. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it was a blessing, like a total blessing from God that we made it here and were able to unload. Absolutely, we moved the moving truck, got here, unloaded, absolutely zero snow, mm -hmm. hot outside. It was nice. To the point where we were sweating, moving stuff in and out. And then the next day, it snowed for like four days straight yeah. after that. And it was like insane amounts of snow. But honestly, I was thinking about this earlier. Um, I haven't watched the clip that we shot like a year ago, but I bet you we could have just picked up 
because we showed the snow in that clip. I do remember that. And, and my Adam. hair has grown back out. And so there's a high possibility we could have just continued that video as if well, nothing Well, except my changed. hairline would be completely, and the That's color true. would look very different. That's true. Um, but, but we moved to Utah. Utah. And there was a, we moved into a new house, which presented a whole bunch of um, issues, actually, because we think, anyways, the house was kind of rushed in the yeah. final stages. So we moved into the house, there was a leak in one of the bedrooms that actually affected three of the rooms in the house. Um, we had to get trim replaced, carpets replaced. and pads replaced. Um, there was a tub that was cracked, which oh, we yeah, had to get fixed. About the tub. A couple of the doors didn't shut properly. Yeah. The toilet, the toilet seats, seats wouldn't loose. <laughs> um, and the shower heads weren't caulked. Yeah, and the shower like, um, faucet. That's what I meant. The bath. It was the actually the, yeah, bath the faucet, faucet. wasn't. Um, so they had to come out and redo that. And the internet furniture we bought was way too big. <laughs> oh my goodness! I literally almost started crying as those we, yeah. furniture yeah, delivery yeah, yeah. guys were trying to get our furniture in our bedroom. Note to anybody thinking about moving into a new house, whether it's renting or buying or whatever, buy the furniture after you move into the Because place. I'm telling you guys, it was just, it was so stressful at the time, especially so, because there was so much going on. We've got a huge bed <laughs> that does not fit in the room well. Uh, we just, <laughs> and big, we've just kind of resigned like, it's just gonna be, it is what it is. Well, we also have a large dresser and two nightstands. So one of the nightstands, because the furniture is so massive, doesn't even live in the bedroom. Because yeah, it, it just right. won't fit. Um, but the worst offender of furniture not fitting actually was our washing machine. Oh, which, I forgot about so that. So the washing, our house, we'll do a house tour soon um, oh, once we clean, clean it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, our washing machine is on the third floor. So we have a three story town home and it being on one of the higher floors, they installed a like water tray, right? To catch leaks in case the washer starts leaking. With However, a drain attached to it. the drain in the middle is basically how do I explain this? You cannot remove the tray without removing all the piping yeah. from underneath they the tray like, because they combined it all together to yeah. where it cannot be removed. Yeah. So that was that was probably the most stressful part for me because the washer was already here, it didn't fit. Yeah. So what we ended up doing was taking a saw. <laughs> and buzzing out the drain, like a hole around the drain so we could remove the old tray, yeah. put the new tray in, and then sealed it. Yeah. And so if we move, we will not be taking the washer with us because that is a permanent fixture in the house. <laughs> well, it's not, but it, <laughs> it, was, was, so... it was such a pain yeah. to get in. And it was like, it was such a, like a period of time that was just difficult. And <laughs> we had no internet for a month moving in because they did not have the right wiring in the house. They they forgot some cables, which caused us not to be able to, to get internet. So it was kind of funny. We we had um, Xfinity, which is an internet provider. They came out three times to try to get it set up. Then we had um, Verizon yep. internet for a little like bit as a bridge. because. When I moved here, I was doing the production company and I kind of needed internet to do that. Um, and so I was working out on my hotspot for a month and that was very slow. Um, but we ended up getting Verizon to kind of bridge the graph and we ended up going with a third internet provider. The graph? What did I say? You said graph. I said graph? Yeah, it's I don't know. I'm gap. Tired. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Um, we ended up going with a third company that actually does fiber and our internet is like ridiculously fast. Yeah, it's it really is nice. Really, really nice. So it worked out yeah. that we had but to go through a bunch because we if it would have worked the first time, we would have had much slower internet. That's true. So we ended up getting really, really fast internet, which was cool. Yeah. Um, but it was funny because at one point I had three modems from three <laughs> different true. companies. They needed in to be the returned. House. Yes. Um but, so it was kind of a stressful January. Sarah started her new job. We had to get a new car for her to replace the one that we had sold back and in Reno. And they didn't have the one I wanted. <laughs> so guess what I 
I got again. Yeah. Ooh. I got another Corolla. That's <laughs> still, still it's a good, hey, It's a great car. I love it now. It's a great car. But it wasn't um, what I initially wanted. <laughs> but anyways, all that to say, January was a really exciting month because, you know, we had our new house. There was all these new changes um, that were very exciting, but there was also just a lot of things that we were trying to figure out and work through. Um, and we got it all, we got it all situated. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, we have the washer in place. And it um, works great. The tubs are fixed, the leaks are fixed, the shower cracks are all fixed. So it ended up being totally fine. Like, and we didn't have any issues getting any of it fixed. It was just very overwhelming moving into our first house and- Getting a new job. Right off the bat. Yeah, just, just yeah. working through all that stuff. So anyway. That was January and February, yeah. essentially. In March... was my birthday! It's That's really the only birthday. thing that happened in March, but I felt like it was important to yeah. say. We went... I turned 25! Oh, she hey, just squeaked. Chill out. Uh, we went to a hockey game, we went which to a, so a theater, a cool theater here, which we could talk about another time. Yeah. Because uh, it's really cool. We'll probably go back and show you guys. Because um, oh. it's pretty unique. Yeah. Um, in April, we traveled back to Carson City in Reno for my grandmother Jody's 90th birthday. I see here you wrote grandmother Kathy's 90th birthday, Oopsies. but that was the wrong I meant to put a J, not a K. Um, so that was cool. We got to see family. It was really uh, cool. Probably would have been an awesome opportunity to vlog because I've never seen that much of my family in one That's place true. before, but we didn't. We got to meet our Lots of pictures, niece. though. Lots of pictures. We got to see our niece. Yeah, we'd met her before that. It wasn't I the first time we met I'll her. be honest, I don't really remember the first time. We have time. pictures of the first time we met her. No, I don't remember. <laughs> it's okay. Um, okay, let's move <laughs> Sorry, on. Sorry, Harmony. <laughs> um, summertime. I had, well, Sarah and I decided that I was going to stop working on my production company. Um, so we moved here for my production business. Um, business is going well but it didn't really feel like a good long-term solution. Mm -hmm. The way that I would set the business up was to, it was overly reliant on me, so it, I kind of maxed out what I felt like I could really, the potential of the company and the way that it was kind of set up. And that company wasn't important enough to me for me to be like, okay, I really want to restructure this. So I decided after three and a half years, three years or so of doing Flipsider Productions to uh, shut it down and start looking for a job yep. until I could figure out what else I was going to do. So um, that was a long process actually to, to find a, a job that um, I wanted to transition into. And during that search, I ended up at a marketing agency mm -hmm. for a little while, which was a wonderful experience. Um, learned a lot, but during the interview, my final interview with that company. So much. No, I didn't. You went summer, October, August. Oh yeah, you're right, <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> so your me out of I was amending it without pointing it out. <laughs> what was <that>? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> um, during my final interview for this job, my appendix burst and that we day. I didn't know. For several weeks leading up to this, I was having some pain in my lower right abdomen. We which thought it was constipated. I was constipated. convinced I was just constipated. I know I've made a vlog uh, several years ago about like this weird bout of like I bad had. constipation that I had. <laughs> and the pain felt so similar. To that um, and it passed after a week or so so I was like that's got to be what's happening here anyways the pain was then gone <laughs> and was I got crazy sick uh, 103 degree fever for several days throwing up yeah uh, couldn't keep any food in no so anyways the fourth day of that straight through um, Sarah's like okay 
I am taking her to the hospital. She had been trying to get me to go for several days. Well, but really, I'm like, no, I'll be okay. I'll be nice. I really pushed it the like the second and a half third day. I was like, we should go, and I was like ready to get him in the car, and then he threw up. And he's like, no, I feel fine now. I yep. feel better. Yep. And then it was the next day. We're like, no, we're not doing this anymore. <laughs> this isn't normal. <laughs> so, Sarah thankfully really pushed it that day. We went to the hospital. Um, and I want to make a, f a full video about this whole experience because I think it could be helpful for people maybe going through this as well. Really interesting. We took notes day by day so that I could go back through and um, talk about it. Talk about Although the I don't whole think experience. we were super thorough on the last few days. No, the last few days we gave up. But um, anyways, uh, the infection caused by my ruptured appendix was really, really bad. Yeah, like it was um, almost septic. And I ended up in the hospital for eight days. Um, was offered that job that I interviewed interviewed for while I was there, so that was that was a wonderful. My mom came up to help with Tally and me with hospital stays. Yeah, because it, um, it was it really was rough for me. It was kind of a scary time. It was really scary. Um, I knew that God was in control, but. When people at the hospital, the nurses and the doctors, keep telling you, you almost, you almost died, yeah. you almost died, and then they hop you up on a bunch of drugs, your mind starts doing some weird Well, and stuff. when you're like stuck in a, like almost a window. I had, a, I had a couple moments where I just like felt like I was going to lose my mind. Um, but like, there was, I, I can't even tell you how much I threw up. It was like so much. Guys. So much. So much, Ridiculous. they ended up pumping my stomach. No, they didn't pump your stomach. Yes, well, they sucked my stomach. That's not pumping your stomach. <laughs> okay, okay, what they did is they stuck a tube up my nose to go down my throat. Into his stomach. Into my stomach and... To pull out. Oh, gosh. It would. It but it rough. really didn't work that well. Um, anyways, we'll go more into detail about that some other time because there's a lot that went on. So anyway... Got out of the hospital, very grateful for my mom to come and help during that time. Um, got home, recovered for a week, then started my new job. Mm -hmm. Was at my job for a week, mm -hmm. then back to the emergency room. Yep. Because I woke up with this incredible pain that was like infinitely worse than anything I felt with the appendix. <laughs> I took like two steps and like, at one point and just collapsed. Yeah, he just floor. fell to the ground. And I'm like, okay, we're going back to the hospital because this isn't normal. So, and this, let's not get into all the details no. of this one because no. that's a whole video too. It's a whole video. Anyway, back to the hospital, had a, um, what is it called? An what, uh, what are you talking about? Which one? The first thing or the second thing? What was the condition? What happened? Oh, you had an obstructed valve. Obstructed valve. There it is. Um, Although. So anyway, I had to go into surgery again. But this one was invasive. There is a gnarly scar from the top of like... Right above his belly button. Yeah, you know, like right above my belly button all the way down. Yeah. Below my waistline. 13 staples um, held his stomach together after that. So, right after I felt like I had started to recover, <laughs> surgery number two. Yeah. Um, this one I was only in the hospital for five days and then right. got out and the recovery was a little bit easier the second time because it wasn't an infection, it was just a surgery. Yeah. Since then, thankfully, we've had a couple moments where we're like, oh, is something happening again? But We even went I've to been... the emergency room to a different hospital yeah. a third time because we, Jacob was having pain and we didn't know what was going on and thankfully it was nothing. And they gave us a lot of really good information and yeah. advice on how to handle things going forward. Yeah, which was which was really good. Um, so anyway, feeling good. That was August into very, September, though. Very grateful. Our church uh, family here took wonderful care of us during that time. Yeah, they put meal trains together um, for us. It was a it was a good growing opportunity for us. Yeah. And you know, God used that for for some cool things. So yeah. um, during that second time. Sarah's parents came into town to help out, which I'm also very grateful for. They were already planning to be here, so it worked out. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I <laughs> they forgot they were coming. Already planned. It wasn't like, oh, we're going to come help. They're like, oh, we're already on our way, so we'll just help out while we're here. <laughs> so that was like July through October, essentially, of our year. Yeah. 
the puppy we just showed you guys, we were actually going to get a different puppy from the same breeder in August. Yeah, that's true. Um, and then we had to, to cancel that because we were like, uh, this ain't happening yeah. because... Yeah, I told the I'm, breeder, I'm like, like, Jacob's <laughs> in the hospital. I don't think we're getting the dog right now. So, now go ahead and talk about the, the biggest, most horrific disappointment that you had all year. It is so disappointing. No, I'm kidding. Um, so in October, obviously Halloween. So Jacob and I were so excited because we've never lived in a place that has had like a bunch of kids in it. But this area has tons of kids. I've seen kids playing in the street in our neighborhood. There's a bunch of kids in the neighborhood behind us. We've seen them when we go on walks. And so I was so pumped because we were going to have trick or treaters. That's right. I dressed up. We bought extra candy because we thought there was going to be a ton of trick or treaters. We went on a walk right before we thought trick or treaters we were going to be stopped. And we out. saw a bunch of people out. And we got zero trick or treaters. It was the worst. <laughs> and you know what? We, we had pumpkins out on our front step. We, painted we had our pumpkins. We painted pumpkins. We turned the light on. And the, you know, the cherry on top of all of this is I watched a ninja turtle walk right past our house and not ask for candy. I was like, are you joking? That's kind of... That's really all that happened this year. I mean, those are the big bullet points. Um, we celebrated our six year anniversary yes, in 2023, which is very exciting. We did. Um, both of us started new jobs by the end of the year. Yep, I left my job, Jacob left his, started the new one, and I started mine at the beginning of this, yep. 2024. I, I left my agency and I'm working full time for um, an e-commerce company now, doing their, their marketing. And you I left, left property. property management. Yep, I'm no longer in property management after five years, five and a half to six years of property management. I am no longer. I'm in construction management now. That's right. And it is fun. It is so fun. I love my new That's job. Right. I commute now. I drive a lot, guys. I drive a ton. That's true. You do drive quite a bit. I put 20,000 miles on my car this year. <laughs> yes, you did. And it was brand new. It's <laughs> awesome, Gums. Thank you. Awesome. I'm very proud of myself, okay? I've grown a lot. We, um, yeah, actually, you really have grown a lot this year. I think we both, I think we both have grown a lot this year. Um, That's about it. What else happened this year? Yeah. We got really into anime. Today was, or not today, this past year was like <laughs> the first year that Sarah and I really got into, yeah. Well, like I anime, was into anime manga. before. This entire bookshelf is just manga that we've collected, so. And then our anime. I stop that. Our anime uh, statues are back here too. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll probably feature those. Yeah, because we'll, we'll, we'll tour the house. So. Um, but yeah, anyways. It was just. I feel like I year. just. That was it. That was the. I that mean, was. I'm on empty now. Well, that was the list. I gave everything. I know you did such a good job. It was. It was a really good year. A lot happened, but we want to get back really into vlogs year. this year. We have a lot we want to do this year, and we want to make sure that we we record what's going on because we had so much like joy being able to watch our old vlogs. And we didn't get to do anything. We can't really look back on this year, unfortunately, which makes me a little sad. Yeah, it makes me a little bit sad, too. It was nice to get a little bit of a yes. break. It was a much needed break. At the same time, it's good to kind of like process through things as they're happening and not have to worry about filming. Yeah. But just for us, um, a way that we can do process things and look back on... You know, those are our memories yeah. to, to film it. It's just the way we've always done it. And so it feels kind of like a black hole yeah. of a year a little bit um, that we would like to, we're just ready to get back to filming. Sorry, she's sniffing a lot. So I'm just concerned she's gonna poop. Well, we can, we can take her outside <laughs> again. <laughs> hi, Tally. Do you want to say hi? Come here. 
She's, she doesn't like floors still, yeah. so. <laughs> she won't come into the kitchen. Tally's oh. still here though, and she's she still helping. She's right mixed. here. No, oh, it's not oh, he tried. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, for hanging out till the end. I hope, we hope, that you guys had a wonderful 2023. I know January's almost over at this That's point. True. Well, no, we're halfway through January <laughs> What is right it, the now. 17th or the 16th? The 17th. The 17th. Um, Anyways, we hope you guys had a wonderful year. And She's totally gonna poop, dude. Yeah, I think you're that right. is a that is a poop walk if I ever saw one. Yeah, I'll take her out. All right, let's wrap this up quickly. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Excited to bring you guys a lot of new content, and the next video will probably be all about our new puppy, which will be a lot of fun. Yes. All right, let's. All right. We gotta go, guys. <laughs> I think she's gotta go, and I don't want another poopy mess in our house. All right. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye! So, Sarah's brother just texted us real quick. This was just right at the end of the video, and I wanted to... <laughs> I thought it was so funny. Um, on the Galaxy Theaters. I don't know if you guys know Galaxy Theaters. I think it's more of a West Coast movie chain. Oh, yeah. Um, on their app. Check it out. Sarah and I are famous. They're using our picture. If you go to rewards, check it out. Wait for it. Look at that. Look at those two cuties. Sarah, we're famous. We're famous. We should sue them. I don't think we can. For using our likeness without our permission. We tagged them in the photo. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Anyways, I just thought that was cool. Also, there's Tally. She exists still. Hi, Tallies. Tally. Okay, anyways. Bye.